Your Instagram game is on point. Your TikToks, legendary. You're a captain of industry. You want Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn social media icons on your ghost site. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do just that, how to add custom social media icons to your ghost site. Let's get into it. The first step for setting up our custom social media icons is to set up the links to those social media networks. So what we'll do is in our settings and ghost admin is go to navigation. And here we're going to add the links to each of our social media networks that we want to add. In the label area, you'll put the name of the social media network. So let's start with Facebook. And then in the link area, you'll add the link to your social media icon or social media network page. So here we'll have Facebook and we'll have Ghost. Next, we'll add Twitter and the process is exactly the same. Oops. And next, let's see YouTube. And we'll do GitHub. And finally, let's do one for our forum, which is powered by Discourse. Great, once you have all your social media icons added, then you can click Save. And if we go right now to our site, you'll see that it's just the text, it's not the icons yet. We'll fix that in the next step. The next part of this tutorial requires writing some CSS to bring in the styles and social media icons. As part of our tutorial though, we've created a generator that will write this code for you. And so I'm gonna show you how to use the generator and then after that, uh, how to use, how to actually write the code itself. So on our tutorials website, which is ghost.org slash tutorials, go down to our social media icon tutorial. And you can search for it if you can't find it. And on the left-hand side here, you'll see that there's the code generator. And this is where you can create the code uh, to paste into your site to show your social media icons. You'll still need to do the first step that we did where you add the links in to those social media networks, but this will expedite the rest of the process. So the first thing to do is to select your theme. So here, all official ghost themes are supported. So we're using Casper, so I'm gonna select Casper. And then as it tells you, you need to choose some social media networks. So when we were doing it before, we used Facebook, we used Twitter, and you can see as I select these, the code automatically updates down here. We also had used Discourse and YouTube and GitHub. So once you've chosen all of your social media networks, scroll down, you see that this is the code, and then there's this handy little copy button here. So copy that. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our ghost site, and you can see that these are all of our social media networks here. And what we need to do is come down to settings and go to code injection. And we're gonna paste what we copied from the code generator right into set, uh, site header. And so this puts in everything that we needed to do to get our social media icons there. The next step is to save our changes, come back to our page. And so you can see this is from before when we had just the text, refresh, voila, we have all of our social media icons. And these will link right out to the pages for um, those social media networks. All right, so that's the shortcut to do it, to use our code generator. And then there you have it, your social media network icons right on your ghost site.
There are two reasons to keep going and not use the code generator. First, maybe the social media icon that you need wasn't included in the code generator, and so you need a custom solution. Or two, you just wanna learn how the code works and, and what it's doing. So what we'll do is show you how to add uh, the custom social media icons manually. The first thing that we need to do is add the actual library of icons. And for that, we are uh, using a library called Font Awesome, which as the name implies, is an awesome icon library. So in Code Injection, so from Settings, go to Code Injection, and in Site Header, we need to add in the link to the library. And you can get that link from the tutorial. So if you keep scrolling down here, this is add the icon library. You can copy that, come back to the code injection, and then paste it in. And so what you can see happens here is that we have a link to the Font Awesome library, and that brings in the icons that you need. The next step is to add the base styles. So these styles override the existing styles for the nav bar so that the icons display correctly. And this is going to happen again in code injection. So you'll drop down to a new line. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. And what we need to do is put in the base style. So this is GH head menu dot nav, uh, we'll do LinkedIn. All right, so that is the class name to um, target the icon. And what we need to do is set the font size here to zero, and add an important. That's the first base style that we need. The second base style is similar. We do gh head menu dot nav LinkedIn anchor tag, and we'll here we target before. And there's a set of styles here that you can copy from the tutorial. I'm going to paste them in rather than typing them all out. And here are those styles. And again, these are providing the style to the icon, so it displays correctly. And what you need to notice here in writing these is that we need to target the specific um, uh, social media network that we're going to add. So in this case, this is LinkedIn, but then if you wanted Mastodon, for instance, you would need to add a new line and do this ghheadmenu.nav Mastodon A, and then the same down here. So you can copy this, put a new line, and then change LinkedIn to Mastodon like that. And that defines the base styles for the new social media icons. So we'll save this, but we have still one more step where we need to bring in the actual icons, and we'll do that now. Our final step is to write the code that will bring in the actual icons. In order to do that, we need to get a value from the Font Awesome website. So go to fontawesome.com slash icons, and uh, you can also find the, a link to this on the tutorial page as well. And what you'll wanna do is search for the icon that you need. In our case, we're gonna look for LinkedIn. So type in LinkedIn and then pull up the variation that you want. We'll do this first one here, and you'll see this value, uh, that's the Unicode value in the upper right-hand corner. That's the value that we need. So we'll click to copy it, and then come back to our ghost admin settings and the site header code injection, and then we're gonna add this value. So we'll type ghheadmenu.nav hyphen, and what you need to put in here is the social media network that you are targeting. And then the anchor tag with before. And content property, and put a quotation mark, a slash, and then paste in that value that we got from the Font Awesome icon website. 
finish it off with another quotation mark and close the bracket. And we'll do it once more for our Mastodon so you can see it again. So we'll come back here, close out of that, and on the Font Awesome website, search for Mastodon. Find it here, copy the Unicode value, come back to our code injection, and then it's the same thing again. But we put Mastodon here. And then this value again, paste it in. And this is the value that tells uh, the site to bring in that specific icon. And once you're all done, we need to come to the top of this CSS code and put it all in a style tag. Come to the bottom here, put it in a style tag. Great, so we have our base styles that override the existing styles and then tell uh, the browser how to show the new icons. And then we have the specific styles down here that bring in the actual icon from Font Awesome. Once we're all done there, we click Save and we will open up our site. And there you go, we see the LinkedIn and the Mastodon icons right there. And that's how you add specific code to bring in social media icons. In this tutorial, you learned how to add custom social media icons to your Ghost site using Ghost's powerful code injection feature and Font Awesome's awesome icon library. Whether you expedited the process with our code generator or were an overachiever and did it by hand, you're well on your way to leveling up your Ghost game. Head on over to our tutorial site to keep learning or subscribe to our Build with Ghost newsletter to keep up to date with changes in Ghost. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.